Good evening and welcome to Back to Basics Part 3. Uh, tonight I'm going to incorporate what I've done the last two months on my Back to Basic classes and put everything together. So first we started off with the Dainty Delight stamp set. The Stampin' Write markers, the In Color 2022-2024 a pack of plain white um, cards and envelopes and memento ink then we stamped just using those products and made some cards i showed you how to take the markers and color on the stamps and then stamp and then i also showed you how to use the memento and then color in your images and then last month, we incorporated um, paper and jewels. And we made these 10 cards with all of those different products. So today, we're going to use dies. These are the Dainty Delight dies that go with the Dainty Delight stamp set. So I'm trying to show you how to start small because getting into any kind of craft can be expensive and slowly work your way up to create um, a different level of cards. So I've showed you the first two months and I've gone ahead and cut already so you don't have to watch me cut. I'm going to put these aside. So the first card I have, so it's all still the 2022-2024 in colors. So the first one, which, which what we did the first month, is stamp the image in memento and then colored it in with those markers, the in color 2022-2024. And then I also stamped the inside. And I have a little piece of um, designer series paper. And I also stamped uh, the sentiment from this stamp set. So I'm going to quickly put this together. And it doesn't take long to put these together. I'm just going to put this on the inside. And this I also stamped the, the little image on the inside and colored it in just like this one. So this is actually cut from this die, as you can see. Get that just right. See? And there are, other, there are three others that you can stamp, color, and cut. And then all these pieces are just regular plain die cuts. So I thought I would just add a little extra element. Pop it on. I hope you guys had a great Mother's Day, anybody that's a mother and watching. And then I'm going to put this on. I think I'm going to use some dimensionals for this. I'm going to use the mini on this one just because they're much smaller and I can reach all the little crevices so that it pops. Whoops, it's stuck to me. So it's been nice and sunny here in New England. Nice change from the cold weather. I missed you all last Sunday. I was in Florida celebrating my dad's 90th birthday. It was very exciting. We surprised him. He had no clue. <laughs> and I'm going to add bigger ones to this. But it was nice to be together. Although it was extremely, extremely hot. I'm 
And I'll just pop on some of these rhinestones. So we're keeping with the same products. Just adding a little bit each time. So there's our first card. Alrighty, the next one. Now this goes along also with the theme from the um, first month. But this one I colored in the stamps, if you don't remember. I took these markers, the Stampin' Write markers, and I colored on the back of the stamps right on the stamps and then put it on white cardstock and then use this same die to cut it out. And I have another piece of designer series paper and a stamp sentiment. And I also did the same for the inside. I colored right on the stamp and then stamped on the white cardstock. So I can't decide if I want. Hi Patricia. It, they are basic, aren't they? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the plaid. But that's what it's all about, learning the basics. Because you don't just jump in and make these extravagant cards right away. <laughs> Tempting, but you need to learn from the ground up. All right, more mini dimensionals because I like the way the last one popped. And all these supplies, uh, if you go through my website, I have them all linked on the Back to Basics page. And all you have to do is click on the item so that you can see it in my online store. There's also a link to see the whole new catalog if you'd like. So I'm going to do them all quite similar, but just a little bit different. All right. And the rhinestones. I like to put three. I don't know. It just kind of offsets things a little bit. Yeah, there's card number two. All right, card number three. So this is the Tahitian Tide. And as you can see, I have all the little cutout pieces here. So those came from all these little dies. So see, here's this. I can pull it up stuck there and then these little thin pieces here and then the flowers and the little leaves here it comes with two sets so that you can cut all the little leaves up which makes it easier when you're running it through the machine so <clears throat> On the inside, I'm going to take my silicone sheet, if I can find it. I found it. <laughs> and my glue, excuse my reaching. Hopefully it'll come out. I tried to clean it out. It's been temperamental. Oh, doesn't want to do it. So let's use my stamp and seal. It's going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to put 
a couple flowers on the inside. I could also do this with glue dots. But I'm going to use the stamp and seal. It's just going to be a bit trickier. If I can get it to cooperate. My fingers aren't so nimble today. Should get my take your pick tool out. Yeah, the dies do fit in the mini machine. Great. I love the mini machine. All right, so I'm going to use that for the inside. Yeah, it's it's really nice because the even the the largest die that. I used the first time around this one. I'll show you on the plate. You know it's a little dark, but see it fits right on, which is perfect. I I think it's like three and a half inches wide is the widest paper that you can put in there. All right, I'm going to try to put some of these on with stamp and seal because <laughs> my glue is being funky. That's all right. We'll figure it out. And they're really thin, but that's why I'm using the silicone mat because... What doesn't stick to this will go to this, but it won't stick to the silicone mat, which is nice. It will, however, stick to my fingers. <laughs> there. The glue dot would be really good for this one. Oops, I forgot to put, that's what I get. I had a piece of this I was going to put on, <laughs> and I forgot. Just being spacey. Oh well. I guess it's all part of being Mother's Day, huh? <laughs> going to look very plain. We're going to have to fix that. I wonder if I can get these off. They're coming up. Without being crushed. Sticking to my fingers, but... All right, let's try this play again. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put it up a little higher. And they're still sticky, which is good. Alrighty. Very plain, but hey. Alright, that's card number two. All right, push the pieces aside. And the next one I have these strips. And yes, I did do these in the mini machine. So 
let's do the inside first. And I just want to do a small flower and a petal. I just like to add a little extra something on the inside, whether it's a stamp or a die cut. So there's the inside. Then I can concentrate on the outside. And these thank you cards, I just like to leave something on the inside so that you can room to write instead of a big sentiment. All right. Do I want the dots or the stripe? No, I like the plaid. I guess I'm just in a plaid mood today. <laughs> Cut this so that it would go right to the top. I'm going to put, I'm going to go backwards on this because I don't want to catch the leaves wrong and have them rip. Kind of webby. So I'm going to take my take your pick tool and I'm just going to kind of go where it's webby and pull it out and push it aside and then it won't stick when you close put it in an envelope. first piece and I have two. I'm going to do it the same way. Go backwards so I don't catch the leaves. And then I'm going to pull away the webs with my take your pick tool. I love this little tool. I use it for so much. <laughs> See those webs? This will pull it all off so that it's not sticky. All right. I'm going to put some of these flowers on. And this was cut with this die right here. So it cuts four flowers at a time. And then here's the greenery. And I think I'll put some on with dimensionals and some on with stamp and seal. Just make a few of them pop. Whoops, it's upside down. It's stuck to me. <laughs> And they're textured. I don't know if you can see that or not through the camera. Can you see how they've got a little bit of texture on them? Right. And then I'm going to use my mini dimensionals on these two. Just to give it a little extra. I 
I have these little backings everywhere in my house. <laughs> they just kind of migrate, I think. Then I've got my banner. I'm going to use the bigger dimensionals. I'm going to put it right here. Hopefully it's even. <laughs> One never knows. It looks even and then you get it somewhere else and you say, um, that's not even. <laughs> All right, there's our second card. Not our second card, our fourth card. I can count. Alright, the last card I have. Same thing, just different colors. Put this on first before I forget. right smack in the middle and I'll show you why my stamp and seal it's very sticky and then my take your pick tool to get rid of the webs it's getting very goopy but it comes off, it comes clean pretty fast. Alright. And then the other half. Yeah, this silicone mat is just soup. Even when I use glue, it, it's just nice that because it's how often you work on your surface, and all it takes is to get a little bit of stamp and seal or glue on your surface, and it sticks to everything. But not with this silicone mat. I love this mat. It's been a lifesaver. I'm gonna flip this one around. Hopefully I get it even. We'll find out. <laughs> Pretty close. Alright, then I'm going to do the same thing, only I have the Tahitian Tide flowers instead of, um, whoops, I forgot this. This goes in the middle of this little blue flower. got hidden in all my fury there <laughs> okay so I have an inside piece again I'm going to take a couple of these leaves and a flower for the inside put some adhesive on them Oops, where did the blue flower go? <laughs> it's stuck to the back. That's all right, because I'm going to glue it down. Add some stamp and seal, put it in. There 
There's the inside. Now we'll put the flowers on the outside. We're going to take a couple of dimensionals. I think I'll do three this time. One. And a big one. And then the other three. Or four. <laughs> I'm going to put seal on. Can't tell if any got on that. I do save the glue dots from my paper pumpkin and I put use them for this but uh, another time. <laughs> and I've got my banner. I'm going to put that right in the middle. So to speak. Some dimensionals. I mean rhinestones. I'm with it. It's been a long day. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's pull all these out. Get rid of the backs of the dimensionals. We'll be in business. And there are our five cards. So we took the basics that we learned the first two months. Thank you, Patricia. And we put everything together with the dies. So I'm going to continue to do this so that everything is in steps. And hopefully that will help you learn how to incorporate the next thing. Let me move them over. There we go. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. I hope to see you next Sunday for product highlight at 7 o'clock. Until then, happy stamping. <laughs>